Welcome to antigen antibody reactions part 4. In this session um, we will discuss about complement fixation taste. Now we know what is a complement. Complements are normal serum proteins which protects us uh, from various antigens or microorganisms with help of antibody molecules. Now we use complements and its properties to diagnose either antibodies uh, which are either uh, produced against a microorganism or like bacteria or viruses. But before that, we should understand few basic concepts about complement. Complement usually does not bind to any free antibody or free antigen. That means if it is a free antibody, complement cannot bind it. If it is a free antigen, complement cannot bind it. Complement can only bind if antibody is attached to antigen. That means it can only bind to bound antibody. And what is the binding site? It is the FC portion of uh, immunoglobulin. Now, this binda binding of complement to the antibody is known as fixation. So, antigen antibody complexes can fix the complement. Okay. So free antibody, yes, complement cannot bind to it. Free antigen, complement cannot bind to it. But if it is an antigen antibody complex, then yes, complement will go and bind to the FC portion of that antibody. Once it binds to that antibody, it starts to show its biological effect. And most of uh, uh, the effects are targeted to kill the cells to which this antibody is attached to. And we use this property to detect the antibodies. So complement fixation taste is used to detect antibodies. Now what we need, because we want to detect antibodies, we require patient serum uh, in which uh, we want to detect antibodies. So antibody may be present in the serum, may not be present in the serum. Because we want to detect antibody, we have to provide from outside antigen solution. We also have to provide the complements which are usually derived from guinea pig. Now, if fixation happens or does not happen, then we need some indicator system whether fixation has happened or not. And for that, we use sheep red blood cells or sheep RBC along with amboceptor. Now, what is an amboceptor? Amboceptor is rabbit's antibody against the sheep RBC that we are using. So, moving forward, um, we will understand this with help of this beautiful diagram. Now. Let us understand that this is scenario one in which uh, patient serum is containing the antibody that we want to measure. And this is patient serum without the antibody. So either patient is positive for that infectious uh, disease or it does, uh, patient does not have it. Now we mix this serum with antigen and complement in both the scenarios. Now let us see what will happen. Now here what will happen that this antigen uh, will attract this antibody and this antibody will go and bind to this antigen and then antigen antibody complex will be formed which attracts the complement and complement will be fixed by this antibody. So this is known as complement fixation. But here if you see because there are no antibody there is a free antigen and complement cannot bind to free antigen as we know. So there is no complement fixation. Now let us see what happened next. Now we add our indicator system that is sheep RBC and antibody to sheep RBC also known as amboceptor. Now here because there are no uh, free complement because complement is fixed uh, the sheep RBC will attract this uh, antibody to sheep RBC and they will remain as such. But here what will happen because there is a free complement this sheep RBC which attracts this antibody to sheep RBC they will bind with it and complement will now be fixed by this amboceptor or antibody to sheep RBC and once complement binds to this it will cause lysis of the cells to which the antibodies are attached and that will lead to hemolysis. So a positive complement fixation taste where all available complement is fixed by antigen antibody reaction we will see no hemolysis. But in case of negative taste where there is no uh, uh, antibody that is free antigen so complement remains free and red blood cells are lysed uh, in the indicator stage so taste is negative. So if result is no hemolysis 
okay you see red blood cells at the bottom with clear supernatant that is a positive complement fixation taste but if you see hemolysis in case of complement fixation taste it is a negative complement fixation taste we will continue further antigen antibody reactions uh, in the next parts